I never thought that I would have to make this video, but I've got to do the right thing here. I have to admit that I was wrong about Kwanzer. Is it Kwanzer or Kwanzer? I've literally seen it both ways online. I was wrong. This artwork is beautiful. Now, I know that you can get a copyright strike for showing this, so I just want to point out that this is from just some guy's video. So if I get copyright stricken, it'll actually go to just some guy. So I'm hoping that is a level of protection. So thank you very much. But this this brings me hope. If I look at this art, I realize, you know what? I'm not as bad as I thought I was. So I'm going to head on over to Black Mask Studios. And look what I found. Lots of creators, contact and submissions. Now I could I could try to go in as a writer, but what fun would that be? Let's submit an artist portfolio. I always ask SJWs to call me sweetie. All right, so the only thing that I'm missing now are my sample pages and my gender. Let's see, is there anything you consider unique about your background, experience, cultural point of view, race, gender, orientation that you'd like us to consider when assessing your creative voice? What? This is really, I mean, this was a joke, but this is really in, in here? Okay, what is the most, what's going to get me work? I am a... Let's try a Jordanian quadriplegic strip dancer, and I'm bald. Scratch that. Afro. Do you have published work distributed through Diamond Comics? Okay, time to upload files. Now, remember, this is our starting point. If I can do this, I've got a job. First page. This is a rejected page. This was me playing around, right? With uh, my idea of the floating uh, floating city in the sky, we're going to figure out a great title for that. Um, I've got a hand. See that? No backgrounds. Peaking. Looks good. Looks great, huh? This person almost looks like they're laying on the floor. That's, uh, I think, supposed to be blood. The next piece of art here is a bad guy with a sack over his head. And uh, I, you know... No need for feet, right? For pulling a... Apparently no need for legs at all. So I should be good. Next we have a robot. And again, missing just the toe. Because, you know, the paper wasn't big enough. Next, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Look at that. This is beautiful. Now, if I want to show off my coloring, uh, this is a page that I colored. Looks like a cover. Look, looking uh, pretty colorful, and there's my my main character. Kwanzer will probably like that, because this guy is diverse, and he's wrongfully imprisoned. And this is a page from one of the script critiques I did earlier in my channel's history. Uh, I I decided to try this myself. This was my very first script that I wrote. Tried to do the art myself, and you can see uh, pupils are all there are for eyes just giant pupils because who who really wants to draw eyes also the size of the ears notice that right got it i did do the coloring on this as well so be impressed beautiful beautiful the lettering is covering all of the the awful line work here i tried to ink this with a a quill pen what's that thing called again a quill whatever i inked it there and, uh, yeah, you like that hand? Hand work, huh? Huh, Kwanzer? Let's see. Hand. Hand. I, am I making my point yet? And if it wasn't enough, car driving, taxi car, bird's eye view, and that, I think, is a human being standing on the side of the road. So, yeah. Now, this looks a lot better. Uh, I did not do the line art here. I will not take credit for it because I did not do this line art. I did, however, write it, and I did the coloring. So if, if my line art is not quite up to par, Kwanzer, then uh, 
yeah, maybe maybe I could be a colorist. You know it's good coloring when there are just lots of dots everywhere. Check these colors out. Green grass, blue sky. And look, now I've got the opposite effect. Eyes have irises, but no pupils. So between the two, you've got basically complete eyes. And just to show that I am diverse, let's not forget. Uh, I cannot honestly remember what this was for. I think this was an attempt at Inktober or something. I wanted to get better. But again, let's compare this. Diverse, beautiful, bald. Uh, I mean, they're not even bald. Look at those colors. Green grass, blue sky. Where is it? Okay, so that should about do it. I'm going to submit this now. What kinds of comics are you interested in drawing? Diversity is my strength. What are your main influences? You. What are some comics you enjoy reading right now? Black AF. Why do you want to draw comics for Black Mask? Because money. And submit. In all seriousness, though, this is what a video looks like when I just don't have enough time. So I thought I would uh, just poke fun. I promise tomorrow I'll have some better news coming up. Uh, but I did just want to point out that some of these things are ridiculous. Right here in this submission, you can see that they're specifically looking for uh, unique things about the people that are applying there. And so it's no wonder to me why someone would get a job as an artist when they don't clearly, clearly are not up to par, uh, but they're still doing art and it has more to do with their immutable characteristics than it does with their quality of art. So I don't know if I should be encouraged that I could also uh, be an artist if I wasn't so darn pale or if I should be sad for the future of comics. So let me know in the comments below, am I good enough to get a job at uh, Black Mask Comics? Am I going to be able to make it? Uh, feel free to roast my artwork. I would love nothing more than to uh, hear your thoughts on it. And of course, thank you so much to all of you new subscribers. It's amazing how much traction we've had. This channel has grown so much just in a really short period of time. So I'm really excited about that. I've got a lot more great stuff coming for you. So please subscribe, like, and I will see you next time.